Hey everyone, Michelle with Crafty Surfing. It's late, late night Friday night. Oh, I didn't think I'd ever get on. So come on and say hi. Let me know you're out there. If you're watching live or replay. You know how it works. So I hope I got some people awake yet. We're going to do some painting. My calm. So again, make sure you say hi, let me know. I hope I can see comments. So give me some hearts or thumbs up. <laughs> Not sad faces. There we go, we got thumbs up. Hi Melda. Hello Sharon. Hi, Tina. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? Because this is going to take a little bit. It's late. So, but I wanted to do it. So, we're painting a gnome on here, all right? Um, another little type of gnome that I'm going to do, we're going to do a sort of bee-inspired, sunflower-inspired gnome. So, hi, Norma and Deb. So, this is from... Uh, the woodpile section of Hobby Lobby, normally $8.99. Again, get on sale, I always say it. I get almost everything on sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, every two to three weeks, a lot goes on sale. I am a blade, Cindy. I'm glad you're on. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Michelle. So I'm going to go ahead and get started So because this will take a little bit in between. Uh, we got to get it dried and... All right, so this bottom part, this is sort of, to me, I'm like I said, I'm going to use sort of like a bee inspired. I was going to do gray on the bottom with the beard on top, but I think I'm going to do this cocoa because I can tell you I'm going to be using jute, so I'm pulling that color from there. So, thanks, Beth. So I'm not going to make a beehive on it, but I'm going to use a little bit of the jute. And... Alright, so I'm just going to paint, I think, you know, probably like the bottom half of this. And again, this is Coco by Deco Art. Hi, Lily. And I'm going to paint the sides. I'll do the back another time. I'm going to paint the sides, but isn't that a pretty color? It reminds me of that jute. Almost like a beehive color. color. I'm up with the tooth abscessing. Oh, no. Kim, hope you feel better soon. Prayers for you. So I'm just, again, just doing the bottom half of this. If you're hopping on late, this board is from Hobby Lobby. Regular $8.99. Get it on sale every, uh, I've got to figure that out, every two or three weeks. I know it's always opposite of, um, you know, some weeks it's flowers and wood. Some weeks it's ribbon. It's, it's like opposite. So the ribbon is always opposite of the flowers. Um, I think uh, I have to figure it out. I haven't thought that much ahead of when this is on sale, but it's every two or three weeks. Hi, Brenda. Isn't this pretty color? Like I said, it reminds me of honeycomb. Um, we're not doing an actual honeycomb on here, but... We're going to make it sort of be sort of um, sunflower inspired. I actually think I have a couple bee buttons. If I can find them in my big bag, I might use them. All right, so that's just a pretty, pretty color. Hi, Crystal from the Panhandle. Hello, Carol. 
paper towel out. I'm just going to now, my heat gun it just stopped working tonight. But I got some exciting news. It it's, must be meant to be. So my heat gun is probably like 20 years old for sure because I got it when I used to do scrapbooking parties. And it's like an embossing gun. Bad news is I have to use my hair dryer then that I broke on here, the cap off, so it's so loud. But the good, more good news is Magnolia is getting a heat gun. I'm excited about that, so I'm just going to wait to get that. But this is so loud. I'm waking up Mr. Crafty Survey. Hi, Christy. Hello, Cynthia. Well, at least it's sort of early for you, Cynthia, right? That's why I like my heat gun. And I said I broke the cap off during one of my lives. I dropped it, and now it's just incredibly loud. All right, so um, I think we're gonna let's let's do part of the cap. Um, I'm going to use this cadmium yellow. I also like a marigold color, and I don't have enough of, of that, so. Um, we're going to use this. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lydia. I'm painting a gnome, a simple gnome to paint. All right, get this paper towel out. Now, so I did the bottom half in, this again is Hobby Lobby. I did the bottom half in Coco, Deco Art Coco. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the top in this cadmium yellow. Okay, I'm gonna do the sides. This would be cute for any room of the house. Honestly, it'd be cute in a kitchen, it'd be cute in a living room, it'd be cute in a sunroom. It's funny you have to speak up. Uh oh. That's funny that it's loud. I know I have to speak up. That's not funny. <laughs> Holly, you didn't get a notification? See, and I did not send text messages because it's so late. I won't send a text message this late. But yeah, check your notification settings. Everybody is saying it. And, um, Facebook has been wonky lately. Wonky. Um, the notifications have not been the best. So um, I used to say, you know, sign up for my text. I don't have my text number right here though. But I can't send a text this late. That's just not appropriate. I mean, in some places it's almost midnight. So on the East Coast. All right, and I will paint the back, but I don't need to. So, hi, Kathy. Uh, go ahead, you know, check your notifications. If you want to be notified. Now, is, is there a notice on the bottom here to be notified? Otherwise, when you're on my page, there should be three dots. And I don't even know, you might even see them now. Three dots up on the top. If you press on that, you can see your notification settings. And go into it and say, be notified for all. And you should be should get notified but Facebook has been wonky everybody's been saying it all the crafters 1150 here well I'm glad you're a night owl Rhonda it was a very long day at work today so I was really exhausted I didn't think I would come on but when it gets to this um, time um, I knew I wanted to come on and it's my calm so um, I'm happy to be here. Very happy to be here. Okay. 
two pretty colors. Yeah, it's almost 11 p.m. I wouldn't text. Yeah, I wouldn't text Teresa, right? Gloria, I'm painting a gnome on this cute board from Hobby Lobby. So now I have to dry it up again and I use my loud dryer. So I have to talk up. Well, I'm glad, Laura Lee. I like them too. Hello, Beverly. Beverly, is it raining by you? I heard there's a lot of rain in Texas. I'm afraid though I'm using this, it's so loud, it's gonna keep my hubby away. And I feel bad for that. Hey, Gloria. Okay, I'm gonna do this in steps so I don't have to keep putting that on. So it's still a little damp up on the yellow, so we're gonna wait with that part. Now we're gonna go back down and we're gonna start on the beard. And I mean, the beard I'm gonna do is actually pretty easy. Um, let me think. We're gonna do white. Hello, Lauren, how are you doing? Thank you, Kathy, for passing it on. Teresa, I'll bet you are. And we have it so dry here. It's never this. It's been hot and humid for the last week, um, it, it, longer than a week. And it's so dry here. Our lawn, we had to water tonight. It, it was like crispy that it was breaking. Our grass was so brown. Um, and I know some of you are getting so much that you don't know what to do with it. All right, let's get out. Where's my, oh, where's my brush I wanna use? <laughs> you, you have big hair if I did it without a choice. <laughs> but, all that, but it's been really, really humid here in the last week and like the other day I came out and you know, everybody's saying a nice hair and I'm like, it, it, this is humid hair. Today wasn't quite as bad. And it's not that bad now. I have my patio door open, so it's fan blowing. All right, so I've got a big roam brush. The size of this one is a 12. And we're just gonna do an, an easy beard. So I've got um, Snow White Americana. Use any color beard. If you want other color beards, you could use gray, you could do whatever. But in this, I'm gonna use white. I might add a little color in here. I'm gonna see how it goes. And all I'm doing, I'm getting a good amount of paint on here. I'm really dipping it in here. And I'm just going to stir it out and I'm going to swirl. That's all I'm going to do. And no rhyme or reason. And I just keep re dipping. And this is going to be my beard. I might add another color in it but by putting a lot of paint on here too it's really a lot that's going to also add a little bit more texture on here and just build it out So it sort of looks like a beard. I think I am going to add yeah, just a little bit of black in it. Is that cool in, in cool me? So I'm just going to get a bunch of white and just dip a little black and maybe just weave a little through here just to add another color in I don't want to add too much 
or I'll end up with a gray beard. And I might as well just paint it a gray beard. So just, just play with it. And I'm just weaving it around. So this is not the normal beard I do on my gnomes, but it's a cute and easy beard. I'm just going to dip in some more white now. All right, that's basically going to be his beard. That's all there is to it for just doing a simple cute beard. How do all of these doors, how do you do all of this freehand? But I did, you know, it was just painting half and half. And I almost wrecked the beard. And and then this big brush really just does the work. Okay, so that really just does the work for it. Um, and you just play with it. If it gets to be a little, a little too much, um, you just let it dry some and add another color or something. It's, you just play with it. You practice with it. So, all right, I'm losing comments here. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Lauren. All right, so now we're gonna flip it over this way. Let me just dry a little of this up. dry so now I'm gonna do the black and we're going to do I let's see I'm gonna do stripes sort of like so like beehive kind of stripes <clears throat> <coughs> sorry So I'm going to start down here and I'm just going to do the black and I'm going to sort of curve down this edge here just to be a little more of a hat brim and carry it around the sides. It is so relaxing Michelle, it, it's so relaxing. And I'm not an expert painter by no means at all. I just enjoy doing it and I have fun with it. And if it doesn't turn out, oh well. Okay. Now I'm going to just do also some stripes across here because we're gonna make it look a little bit, remind me of a little, like a bee. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see it is not perfect. Okay, just have fun with it. I'm using an angle brush for this part, but you don't have to. Just a straight brush would be fine. This is just gonna be a fun. See, and I see. I really, I flubbed it. We'll fix it. We just make it a little wider. No biggie. No biggie at all. I said I'll do the back of it too, but I'll just do it a straight color. But not tonight. 
I'll put one more up here too. Okay, easy, right? And then I'm gonna do a little technique on here that Talisa did, I saw the other day um, in just like a group meeting for Magnolia and she did it with our chalk paints. Um, I'm doing it, or with our inks, I'm doing it with paint. So I'm gonna, this is because, and I know I've seen other people do it, you know, Talisa isn't the first to do it, um, but I saw her do it the other day and I thought it was a cute reminder to do. So we're gonna do that. I gotta dry it up again. Oh, thanks, Vicki. This is so crazy loud, I'm sorry. So look at how it's getting already, right? It's looking cute already. Um, so let us let me show you what I saw Talisa doing the other day. And it was just a cute idea, and I know other people have done it. But thanks for all those hearts. All right, bubble wrap. We're going to make like a little texture on here. Let's see. I'm not even going to do highlighting. You know, I've showed highlighting before, and I know people, you know, would like to think about some highlighting, but I'm not going to do it on this just because if you don't want to do highlighting, um, I don't want to pop the bubbles. Uh, if you don't want to do highlighting, then, I mean, you don't have to, and I'll show you. So we're going to do some fun. So we got the bubble side here, and I'm just going to take... A little flat brush and take a little bit of the black paint and paint it on the bubble wrap put it right down and just lightly press don't pop your bubbles but it makes a cute texture. So I'm just gonna take a little over here. Let's add a little more. This is the cutest technique. It's, it's cute. Okay, let's add over here. Now I'm gonna carry this one around to the side. Isn't that cute, Vicki? Add a little on the side here, a little bit here. Is that just cute? We could add a little bit more on this side. Yeah, so easy, right? Just bubble wrap. Isn't that just really, really cute? I love that. Like I said, I saw Talisa doing it the other day, and I know I've seen it before, um, but she just reminded me of it. All right, so I'm just thinking I need a little something out here, and I think it's just going to be a little bit of trim. Um, what will I use for that? I know. Oh, they would have fun with that, Kim. Yes, grandbabies with the bubble wrap. And use um, your finger paint and get the bigger bubble wrap. That would be fun too. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be a great art project. That's a great idea, Kim. 
Hi, Carrie. How are you? Um, Carrie, you remind me. Everybody, go out and throw out your links if you have Facebook pages where you craft or artsy, you know, whatever. Um, Vicki, thanks so much for the stars. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of black. And so I've got a baby wrap here, and I'm just going to dip it in the paint. You could ink it, or um, you could use... You know, I wonder if I want to stain it. Let's just try a little bit of this. Yeah, I sort of like this. It, it doesn't make it too dark. The baby wrap helps, um, the baby wrap, the baby wipe helps spread it out. We got a little more on the side. I just want to add a little something over here. I said the, I think the antiquing wax would look really cute on it too, um, but I don't have that out. This actually looks really cute. Adding that little bit of black, isn't that cute? Like I said, the baby wipe just helps spread it out. Just adds to it. You almost miss me, Terry. What does it look like? Is it looking like a gnome? I hope so. I don't have that much left, but we're gonna just dry this up and decorate a little. I've got a little bit of extra clumping on the beard, and let me show you. So I think I'm gonna add a little more beard. Um, I'm gonna get my big brush out again, my big number 12, and I mean, any big brush like this. And I'm gonna add a little bit more white in here now, because it's sort of dry, and it'll add another layer to it, so. Get a bunch of paint on it. And it just adds extra layers. And now that the black is sort of dry, it's not going to turn into gray. That's why I wanted to wait till it dries a little. There, I just added another whole layer to it. Thanks, Doris. All right, so I think we are done with the painting part. Oh, I got a big glop of paint there. So some of it splashed across there. We're going to try and fix that. We're just going to add a little wider beard. Thanks, Beth. I appreciate it. And it was easy, right? I mean, literally, you wave your brush. So I have to try and fix this over here. There. There. You can hardly tell that there was a mistake. Judy, I love gnomes too. All right, so let me just try and dry some of this up so I don't get it wet, but again, it's loud. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for passing it on. Oh, that's awesome, Teresa. <laughs> this dries so much faster than the heat gun but it's so loud so, all right so this is the start of it 
Now I think I'm done with my paint. Some of our water out of our way. Okay, now let's see what we're going to do next. Okay, we're going to, I was trying to think of what I could use for a cute um, nose for him, and I've got a cork. So I'm just going to cut this cork. <laughs> I'm going to cut this cork. And that's going to be his nose. Okay. But then I wanted to something to drape across. So that's where I said I'm going to use some of this newt. newt. It's been a long day. I got my big baby out. So I think I'm gonna put this on first. I'm gonna put this on first and then get the Judah rounded, I think. Oh, Kathy, happy anniversary. That is wonderful. All right, you might wanna use E6000 on here too, depending upon where where you are, but even in this hot, humid weather this last week, I mean, it was in the like mid 90s. I think it hit a hundred in some places around here. Um, I think the hot glue still held up. I use Gorilla Glue sticks. Where you get that twine? So this is Hobby Lobby. It's sort of expensive, but it, I got it before when they had their 40% discount. All right, so I'm gonna use this. We're going to bring it down and around like that. And I'm gonna do several layers. So um, I'm just gonna start in the back here. Get that out of my way. Put a little bit of hot glue back here. I'm also going to put just a little bit on here just to try and hold it in place and my Blue gun is dripping. I'm just going to put it all the way around here. That way it's going to hold it in place. Around and I'm just gonna cut off each layer. I think it'll be easier. You could probably keep wrapping it too. Hot. Did you see that? It landed right on my finger. No finger guard would have helped that. I'm just trying to not touch the front because I know I have wet paint here yet. That hurted. All right. That didn't feel good. Just trying to get the rest of the glue off here. Follow that to River Rock, tired of pulling weeds. Oh gosh, Teresa, that sounds like hard work. My problem is I can't lay this down because the front is a little wet yet. Yellow mustard? I never heard of that. 
I mean, I heard of yellow mustard. I just never heard of it on ferns. Is that is that true? Well, I've heard butter. Um, I heard that crafting wounds. They are. I'm terrible. I am terrible at crafting wounds. Keep the bowl of ice handy when you're using a glue. That's actually a good tip. That's a good tip too. And I guess if I had yellow mustard out, you wouldn't even notice if I got it on here. All right. So I'm gonna another layer of glue. do probably about four of these layers here for heartburn for heartburn you should try it on your finger hmm well, I will have to I might have to try it all right so I think now now I could probably get away with just wrapping it I'm just gonna put a little glue on this side and this side and this side because that will hold it in place. And I want it to be right next to these. And then I'll run it across the top here again. In an aloe vera plant. Yeah, I don't have one, Lisa. Yeah, I do have to. Again, anybody out there with your pages, please go ahead, drop your links. Okay, we're gonna get this finished up. I know I'm doing late tonight. So like this, I mean, this really wasn't a long project, was it? All right, we're gonna do one more layer. And again, I'm just gonna put a dab of this over here and over here. I don't need to run it all the way across. Do one more layer here. I actually didn't even need this black stripe here, I think. Do you have a bee to put on the hat? You know, I have, I know I have bee buttons. I have to dig in my big bag here. Um, I made a bunch of those other bees, bead beads, last year, but I think they would be too big. I'd have to make smaller ones, the ones with the flowers as the wings. Um, I probably made them a year ago or so, so that was fun to do. All right, so I think that's, let me just see if I want one more layer. I'm going to do one more layer yet. I think it's getting high enough that I can just set it on here and I'm not going to get paint. I think that nose is helping that. Okay, one more layer. Hi, Ray. There's Ray's link out there. Check her out. Ray, what are you doing up so late? I think you're East Coast, aren't you? Okay, well, let's get this to the back. Now, I'm going to put a glue spot here, but I think I'm going to be carrying this up and around. We're going to add some hot. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> My fingers aren't going to be the same today. Paste or gel toothpaste? Well, I got that too. <laughs> it's in the bedroom. It's not going to help me now. Mint toothpaste. 
I haven't heard that. Jenny, thank you for those stars. I appreciate it. Hi, Laura. Lana. Hello, Lana. All right, so we're almost done with this part. So I've, I'm just going to do some wrapping. See, isn't that just going to be cute? We're just going to add extra jute. And end it off back here. Just gonna add. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to bring it like all over because this is too thick to do that. If you want, you could use skinnier jute and do it like in multiple places. But I think we're gonna be good with this. And I'm gonna just put a dab of glue behind here. Let that set up. Huh, Teresa, yeah, I never heard of that either. We'll have to check it out. Thanks, Lauren. So y'all yeah, stick on. Um, I'll do random act of kindness drawing at the end. I don't have too much longer. But actually, this went faster than what I thought it would. Cut this off. And a little bit more glue here so this doesn't separate. Don't touch. Okay, I do also like when I wrap like that, I actually do like putting behind these other layers just in places because then it's not going to shift around on you. So that's why I put it on more places. Then the front won't shift. Lisa, thank you for dropping your link. I saw your name before and that's why I thought. I, I knew you had a page. I'm not good all the time remembering pages though. I'm sorry. Thanks, Lily. We're going to add a little more cuteness yet to it and then we're done. But he's already, now he's already cute like that, right? Now let's let's just do a hanger quick. I think I'm done with this. Let's do. We're just gonna use a smaller, a skinnier jute, and we'll do the hanger. Just fold it in half. There's already a hole in it when you get this kind. Now, if you're on late, this is from Hobby Lobby. I painted it up. It looked like this before, without the jute. Thanks for the hearts. Was that for my, did my clock just go off? Oh. Oh, Lisa, I'll have to look at your gnomes. Yeah, people, check out Lisa's page. She put a link up there before. All right, so all I did was loop it through, and then I tied a knot up here. This is going to be the hanger. Okay, so um, we have a little more decorating. Okay, I am going to see if I can find a couple of the bees. I know I have some bees in here. I always get buttons. Found one. Okay, I have these cute little bees, bee buttons. Um, I know I would have a few in here. I'm glad I found this one. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just add one more thing on here. a bag like this. I'm just looking around if I can see. I know I've got more in here, but we're going to go with what we have right here. We're going to go with the one for now. Okay, now I said this was um, also 
inspired by sunflower. So we're going to just do up a little decoration with sunflowers. I've got just these little sunflowers. I've got these from his and her section at Hobby Lobby. We might do something with that. And I have this ribbon. I have these branches. I think I have some broke off. We might use a little branch. And I have some raffia. So that's what we're going to try and put together. We're going to pick a couple of these off. Get that out of the way. No bag and, and cigar, cigar boxes. That's a good idea too. I'd have to have a I'd have to have a couple big ones. All right, so I think I'm just I'm gonna grab a couple of these out. Now these are really big raffia, raffia. Um, so I always like to separate it, throw them stuff. I always separate it down to make it skinnier because I like making it sort of messy. So I just pull it apart into these skinnier pieces. I think it's just prettier like that. I don't know. It's whatever your preference is though. Okay, so I've got that. My thought is, okay, this one's a little loose, but I think it'll stay in place. I may end up putting an extra sunflower up here too. So I don't want it completely covered down here. I think this is too big. We're gonna cut part of that off. So we got a little bit of a, of a leaf. I love the thought of buffalo plaid with this. We'll see if it works. It is a late night party, Sherry. Hello, thank you. Sherry, drop your page. I've told others already too. All right, so we're just going to make a little bit of a bow with this, and my bows are easy. I, and this, it doesn't matter really front and back a little bit, but um, it's not too bad the other way. So I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple times. So I've got one end down here, wrap it around, and the other end is gonna end up here. And I'll probably dovetail those ends too. So I'm just going to have that. We're gonna put this on here. We're gonna have a little bit of messy raffia. And then I think we're gonna have a sunflower and we should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to tie off this already. I hope so, Darla. I like making cuteness overload. All right, so all I do is just wrap it around a couple times to hold it together, and then we'll tie it off. We'll dovetail these right away so you fold it in half, and then just cut from the middle up. And then you can just pull these apart. Okay, so we got that. 
I need one more piece of this to tie it all together. Okay, so we got that. We've got We're going to end up gluing this on here. Isn't that just cute? But we got to add some raffia. So I'm going to glue this on the back. I could have put it under the jute, but I didn't. Hold this on a second so it doesn't melt. Thank you, Sherry. It was really easy that I did the beard. It was very, very easy the way I did it tonight. So it's not the way I normally do a lot of beards, but it's it was an easy one. Thank you. All right, so we got that. I think it'll stick, we'll see. Okay, we got that. Take a little bit of this raffia and we're going to just make a little messy bow with it. Okay, just up and down. It's almost too much. I don't need that much because you're going to cover up the plaid. I think I'm going to tilt it. If I tilt it on there, you're going to see both cuteness, and I can spread them out yet. You know what? Change a plan. I'm keeping this like this. I like that plaid ribbon, but I'm covering up too much of it with this raffia, but I like the raffia. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the, the messy kind of bowl. We're going to put that behind it and tie that all together because then you'll have that coming out. So again, I'm just going to wrap this up couple times to tie it and then I'm going to put it behind and then I'm going to be able to play with it and you're going to see some of that coming out behind. I think that's just going to be really, really cute like that. Glue that on. You could probably tie it on too. And then we're going to put the sunflower on, and that will just really add to the cute. That'll be my twist my raffia. on some of them. Thanks Doris, I appreciate it. I have quite a few on yet tonight considering it's late. Okay. So I like on twisting my raffia if you're new and haven't seen me do it before. I do it just because it adds some more texture to it. One more. Hi Faith. I haven't seen you on for a while. You know everybody's so crazy busy. There are so many crafters out there now so I mean oh that's an easy way to untwist it. Um, so many crafters out there to try and watch and 
I get it. We all can't have you all the time. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it. Okay. So that just is, so we're going to, that adds a little texture down there. We've got the raffia. We've got that. Now we're going to cut off this back part that sticks up some. We're going to just cut a little of that and place it on here. Cut a little more. Ten thirty in Canada. Ooh. It's eleven thirty here. Yeah. So I love the messy raffia. How putting that in the back now because I I love the buffalo plaid, but I thought if I put the raffia on top of it, you wouldn't see it. So I'm just gonna separate these out. Okay, we're going to figure out where to put Should I put it like right over on the side here. What do you think? Let me see. Or I can put it up here. I think I like it down here though, right? Do you like it down or down or up? I'm going to also, I'm gonna put another one I think over here. And then I've got the little BDUs. So should I put this down here? I think I like it down here a little bit. So that around that jute. I've got a mess of jute on here. Down, I think down, right? And I think so. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to and I'm gonna leave these hang down. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be cute too. So let me just add a bunch of glue back here. Was a lot of glue. Okay, we're gonna hold that a second before I add the rest. It covers you the jute, but it's gonna leave the jute open over here, I think. Um, and I don't have it all the way down. You can still see this jute over here. I think if I put it up higher, this looks so plain down here. This jute is so hot, it's taking a little bit to set up. Okay. It's really hot. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to put this one up. You know what? I think I'm going to grab a little bit of leaf yet. And just put behind this one too and put that on top. That'll balance that off with the leaves down there. Now I have to be really careful. Okay, we got on there. That just is really cute on there. I'll show you in a second. And we're gonna set that up over here and that'll balance off the green on this other side. It's not an old paddle. I'll show you, it's you get buy this at Hobby Lobby in the wood pile section. 
but an old paddle would be awesome, right? All right, so I found one B. You know, I, I don't know that I need a B. I don't know that I need a B. I could put a B up on, on this sunflower. Can you, let's see, can you see if I put this here, can you see the B up close? I could put the B on there, should I do that? I don't think I like it down on this one. I think there's a lot happening with this and I don't wanna take away from everything that's already happening there. I could put it on there, but I think that takes away. I could set it up here, should I put it on here? Thanks, Ray, I appreciate it. It does look like an old paddle though, right? You don't need one unless he hasn't had a bath for a while. Put it on his beard. Hmm. I don't know. Well, all right, I don't have my wire cutter out here. Let's try this. Oh, that was easy. do that. The top flower. Okay, top flower or beard. I almost feel like that top flower is missing something. I'm just going to do a little dovetail. Trying to see if I can add a little bit of ribbon in here yet. Do we need that ribbon on top? Oh, that actually adds a little cuteness there too, right? All right, top flower beard, top flower flower, top flower beard, top flower, a lot of flowers. I think adding that little piece of ribbon up there is cute too. How about on the front of his nose? No, I don't think you really see them. No, I don't like it on there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add just this little top ribbon in here. Okay, so that ties the two of them together. And I think, yeah, we'll put it, put him up on this top flower. And then we're done. Okay, I love how he turned out. And it was really easy, right? He was so easy, the beard was easy. The painting was really easy. You can see the little flowers. So offsetting that little ribbon there was good. I like how that all turned out. So I really do like how he turned out. I think these are cute hanging down here. If you don't like them, you could always take them off. You don't have to do it these colors. You could do different colors. Um, but I love how he turned out. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate it. Thanks, Carol. 
Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. This was so much fun for me to come on here again tonight, just relaxing. This is so relaxing for me to come on and chat with you all while I paint. I appreciate it so much. Okay, so the B is your button signature. Yes, the B, and I did need that, right? I did need the button. So I guess I did have to put it on. You're right. All right, thanks all. Should we pick out a random act of kindness? Did, did you stencil? I didn't stencil. No, I did not stencil tonight. Um, Ohio. Oh, you know what? I have these. I forgot to put them in. Let me just see if I can put them in yet. So these are from the his and her section. They come like that. I just rip them apart. I'm just going to see if I need it. And then I'll choose random at the kind of drawing. So I'm just twisting them a little tighter, a little smaller. And you know what? I do not have my wire cutter out here. Or I do, but it's buried. You know, adding that little bit of wire in there would be really cute too, wouldn't it? And I can do that after. I can cut it off and, yeah, my wire cutter is buried here. Thank you, Teresa. I think we're going to add that in there. a little smaller though just add another texture to it that's all I'm doing I'm gonna just tuck it in I think right there Thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. Thanks, Renee. Thanks, Judy. All right, there. That even add another, you know, it's a little hard for you to see it in this light, but that just adds another little texture to it. So I know it's hard to see, but You'll see it better in the picture. I think that I think that just adds a little something more to it yet. And if you don't like it, I can always cut it out. So, all right, let's um, do random act of kindness. Okay, all these are is watching. So I say I want to see a comment. I'll go back to the next one that I see. Vicki Gallagher, Gallagher, Vicki Gallagher. Please private message me your mailing address and I'll get you happy mail and please do a random act of kindness for someone. That's the deal. Thank you so much for all those hearts. Oh, I've got to get way back to the end here. I went really far back. All right. So thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to get to bed. I ain't going to be answering tonight, but I'll post a picture of this tomorrow. Um, it might not be till tomorrow night. It's going to be a long day. So, But thanks for all coming on and letting me just relax with you all. I really appreciate it. So we'll talk really soon. I'll be on.